with Nadi Shodhana. Just continue, we sit straight, breathe in Nadi Shodhana, in through the left, out through the right, a round of five, breathe in. Don't forget to hold the breath in your third eye as long as you can. This brings you completely present, allows for stillness. No rush, become present in the moment when you hold your breath. When you finish, put your hand on your knee and just sit. Observe your mind, observe your thoughts. After this five rounds of Nadi Shodhana, only five. I would recommend you do 14 to 15 once a day. If you can do it morning and evening, you will feel wonderful and balanced. Really helps with a lot of areas of the mind. Okay, well done. I want us to go into Bastrika, energize ourselves. Fingers and hands up. We all know Bastrika, we're going to do Three rounds of 15, breathe in through the nose, out through the nose as well. Okay, breathe in, belly out and out. Put your hands on your knees, take a deep breath in through your nose. Take it in, open your chest, tuck your chin to the chest, lock the breath, lock the breath, hold it there for one, hold it. If you can't hold it anymore, you raise your chin and breathe out. For those who can hold it, hold it. Now take your navel into your abdomen, hold those muscles. Lift your chin, sigh out through your mouth. Okay, so the second round, let's see if we can hold it a bit longer. Put your hands up. We're going to breathe, take a deep breath in. You don't have to do it so hard if you've got high blood pressure, low blood, do it slowly, but you're re-energizing all your cells in your body. It's lovely to bring oxygen and remove carbon dioxide. Okay, breathe in, but don't be lazy. Breathe in and out. Stop, take a deep breath in through your nose, deliberate one, chin to the chest, Release, soften your shoulders, tuck your navel into your abdomen. Hold the breath if you can. Very good for you. Release your chin, sigh out through the mouth. Now, the idea is to try and hold it eventually for at least 30 seconds to one minute, but you build your lung capacity. So it does take some time if you're not used to and your chest is tight. Welcome, Hasina. We don't know what happened to you. You came and went. Right, third round. Tuck your navel into your abdomen. Breathe in through your nose. And out.
hands on your knees. Take another deep breath in, deliberate ones. Jala Bandha, chin to chest. Udaya Bandha, navel in. Mula Bandha, take your anal muscles all the way up if you can. Lock the breath in, hold your perineum muscles. Hold it, hold your breath. Hold your muscles from below. Very good for you. And release each one slowly out through the mouth. Well done. Okay, we're going to practice the Kaki Mudra. Some of you knew this from Sunday. So you're going to put your lips in like as if you're going to whistle. So your lips are just like you're going to whistle. Okay, so it's, but you're not going to whistle. You're going to take the breath in. So your lips are together, just like a beak of a bird, kaki mudra, okay? Like a beak of a bird. So it's, and you're going to take that breath in and you'll feel this cooling air going all the way to your abdomen. Now, don't close your mouth. You keep your lips in the same position and let it come out again through the mouth. Okay? So again, I'm going to repeat. You're going to make your lips like as if you're whistling and take the breath into your abdomen. As you take it in, your chest expands, your belly goes in, tucked into your navel, and you feel that cool air coming in. And then you take it out back through the mouth in a slow, conscious way, okay? That will cool down the body. Then to cool down the mind as well. So that's round one I'm showing you. Then I want you, when you're taking the air in, you're going looking up. Keep your lips in the same position, looking down. Look up, look down. Okay, give me a thumbs up. You kind of understood it, okay? Your lips need to be in that same position. It is not the same as sitari or sitkari, which I've taught you. This is kaki mudra pranayam, okay? So your lips are together. Let's start, let's do at least five. We'll go up and down slowly. Observe what is happening in your body. Keep your lips together. Let's go. All the way down. Breathe in. Look up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. On the next one, when you breathe in, I want you to hold your breath a little and your head up. Try again. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Breathe out. Again, breathe in, last one. Hold your breath. Breathe out. Well done, bring your head to neutral position. You might lick your lips or take your saliva back if your mouth is dry. But just observe your mind. Observe your body is cooling down. Wonderful. 
Great. Let's come to the middle of our chair. Come forward a little. And let's start with warming up the spine. In and out. Close your eyes. Look up to the ceiling. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Round your spine. Breathe in. Open up your chest. Breathe out. Round your whole body. Hang on to your knees hard. Breathe in. Breathe out. Grab onto your knees. Really feel the difference. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Last few. Again, hunch your back. Breathe in. Open up your chest. Breathe out through your mouth. Constantly with awareness. Let's get rid of all the debris in our body. We're breathing in oxygen. Taking out carbon dioxide. Rejuvenating all the cells in our body. Healing taking place. Breathe in. Breathe out. And the last one. Breathe in. Hold it up and look up. Arch your back. Feel the strength of your arms on your knees. Arching your back. Opening your throat chakra. And release. Again, last one. Breathe in. Hold it up. Feel the strength of your spine. Waking up the Shushumna Nadi. Hold it there. Opening up your Vishuddhi Chakra. Everything. Your Anahata Chakra. Your heart. Opening it up. Stretch more. Just arch a bit more. 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 And release. Arch your back. Arch your back, hold the breath out, hold it. Hold the breath. And surrender, back to normal. Back to normal, see how you're feeling. This is, remember I told you we're going deeper into our practice. We're not just doing asanas, we're going to use the breath to heal the body. So you have to make an effort to do conscious breathing. And when I say hold the breath, that's when the healing is taking place. You've taken in oxygen. You're rejuvenating. Visualize as if this flush is happening into your cells. You're flushing all your cells of any debris and bringing in new oxygen into those cells right down to the nucleus of your cell. Okay, let's go again. Breathe in. Just few more I want you to get it breathe in and up hold the breath breathe out open your mouth breathe out hold that breath Munira this is very good for your seniors if they can hold it for a few seconds breathe in healing taking place at the spine level when you have a healthy spine you have a healthy body breathe out hold the breath breathe in in through the nose open up your chest open up your throat thyroid gland anyone having thyroid issues open it up Take it back into your digestive system. In your solar plexus, we hold all the emotions. Manipura, Swadhisthan, all that gut being released. Last one, breathe in. Has to be a deep breath. Open up your heart. Love and compassion. Anahata Chakra. Visualize and rejuvenate that area. And breathe out. Hold it there again. Endocrine system, digestive system, skeletal system. 
nervous system, all the systems were rejuvenating and come back to natural position. Well done. Okay, let's take our right hand. Hold on to your left ankle. It's winter here. I'll take out my socks. Left ankle, grab hold of your left ankle, fingertips to shoulder, twist. See if your twist is better than last week now. Hand is up to the ceiling. Open up those fingers. Open up your fingers. Make that hand straight. Look at it. See if you're able to now look or you're struggling in your heart, in your abdomen. Are you struggling? Breathe in. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Detoxing your kidneys, your lower back, your pancreas, your liver, your whole digestive system. Breathe in and out. Open up those fingers. Don't be lazy. Breathe in and out. Last one. Breathe in and out. Gently, gently come down. Don't come up. Change your sides. Take your left hand. Grab hold of your right ankle. Fingertips to shoulder. Take your hand up first and then swivel your body. Open up those fingers. Put energy into those fingers. Look up. Look up. Get your posture. Good adrenaline to the heart and the lungs. Waking up that heart, waking up the lungs. Breathe in. Breathe out. If you're struggling, then you know you have been away from yoga for too long. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in again. And out. Breathe in. And out. Gently come down, come down. Place both your hands in between your feet. In between your feet, open your fingers, all 10 fingers. Take your feet a bit apart, apart. Take your feet apart. Your hands are just below your nose and stretch those from your shoulders. Look up at the camera. You will feel the spine stretch. Look up. Breathe in, look down, breathe out, breathe in, look up, feel the tightness of our hips, our spine, breathe out, breathe in again, look up, breathe out, last one. Breathe in and breathe out. Well done. Take your left palm, face it inwards. You're doing a forearm stretch. Your right palm is facing outwards. Your left palm is facing inwards. Working on those wrists. Just take it further in, away from your nose. Your palm, your right palm is just below your nose. Your left hand is slightly in towards the chair. Feel that stretch. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stretching that forearm. You're really stretching the forearm. Keep your fingers wide open. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And out. Well done, everyone. Don't give up. Last one. Breathe in. And breathe out. Bring your left palm. Face it forward. Take your right palm behind. Slightly back. Open the fingers. All the energy and attention is on your right forearm. Breathe in. Into the chest, into the lower back. Breathe out. Breathe in, into the chest and your back, breathe out. 
breathe in and out well done place your palm turn it around just walk one step in front one step in front with your palms your palms are now away from your nose about a foot, just maybe six inches away you're going to place all your energy and lift your bum off the chair as if you're touching the ground palms your bum is off the chair you're now standing with your body down if you have to bend your knees bend your knees but your palms are down now let's bend the knees and stretch the legs bend the knees and stretch and bend and stretch you might not be able to have all your hands down but see what you can do how tight you are okay if you're regular in yoga you should be doing this lift your body off the chair and bend your knees and straighten your legs bend your knees straighten your legs well done bend your knees straighten your legs last one bend your knees and sit on the chair. gently take your hands hold them onto your hold both ankles then your shins then your knees and come up slowly 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 see how you're feeling you might be dizzy a little dizzy sometimes is good it shows you bringing in oxygen into your body right see how you're feeling okay breathe in lift your shoulders and then we're going to let them go okay really release all the tension breathe in lift out really release breathe in Okay, we're going to find a rhythm of 10. Breathe in. And release. Feeling tired, feeling good. Releasing all the pains and aches and the burdens in our shoulders. Next round. Let's give it some real push downwards. Throw all your anxiety and stress down, all your aches and pains. Let's take it up and out. And stop. release beautiful take your right leg over your left knee see how you're feeling take your right leg over your left knee massage it down a little one two three four especially for those who have tight hips five six seven eight nine ten sit up 11 12 13 14 15 on 15 press it down as much as you can you will feel a pain or some sort of tightness in your glute in your bottom it's okay let's visualize our breath in that area breathe in through your nose hold that breath out through your mouth release the leg okay we're activating cellular memory in that area we want to wake it up okay so do what you can don't push it if it's too tight just hold it as much as you can breathe in okay and we'll push it down breathe in push it down hold make sure your shoulders are soft don't panic Hold that breath. Take your awareness to that area in your hip. Hold it there. Healing energy and release through the mouth. Okay. Again, 
visualize when you're holding your breath visualize that white light re-energizing your hips especially those of you who've got tight hips let's breathe in take it down we're going deeper into our practice to heal the body hold it there it should come loose very soon hold that breath visualize white light in that area and release from the first time you tried to the fourth time which we are going to do see the difference if there's any but take a deep breath in breathe in hold it down there's less fear there's less anxiety your body is familiar hold your breath take your awareness to that hip area visualize white light if you are unable to do visualization it will come slowly i do this a lot visualize white light in my bones in my organs everywhere hold it there and release well done grab hold of your knee sit up straight just hold it up and now rotate that foot one two three four five six seven eight other way around one two three four five six seven eight well done put it down i haven't started marketing myself at all i'm planning to start marketing myself and then we're going to get busy so please catch up because i have not started doing any marketing right we're going to bounce the left leg one two three four massage it nicely lovingly gently smile on your face not so miserable come on let's smile all of you behind the cameras all of you hiding behind cameras let's smile and show it a bit of love it can go back to its original healthy hip i have a yoga friend who's 82 years old two hip replacements two hip replacements she's running around like a spring chicken 82 why because she does yoga and has been doing it for almost 20 years okay bring it down hold it there hip replacement surgery full hip replacement breathe in hold it down and she is back to square one in fact she's a yoga teacher at her age as well so you're never too old for anything visualize the white light in that area and release beautiful we're going to do it again breathe in visualize that light hold that breath when you have stillness the healing takes place when there's no breath kumbhaka it's known as kumbhaka when you hold the breath and release last time see how your body is feeling at a mind level breathe in press it down shobina i know you've got hip issues but try and do what you can i still am a firm believer that we can heal our own body slowly and gently but you must not have fear the body listens to you no fear you need to trust you need to have faith you need to know there is that divine wisdom within you already and release and put it down well done no sorry we put hold it up and let's rotate our foot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
eight, other way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Always listen to your body. Right, cuts come up, go to the back of your chair, put your feet together in butterfly. We call this butterfly where the soles of your feet are touching. I want us to work a bit of our pelvic area. Let's swing it in and out. One, hold the back of your chair. Two, three, you want a flat tummy? Then let's have a flat tummy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On 11, hold it up. Hold your feet together. Feel the insides of your thighs. I did this today at the gym with weights. But today I'm doing it with no weights with you. Okay, this morning I was working only on my legs. So let's hold it there for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gently come down. Well done. Take your right hand, grab hold of the top of your chair on the left hand side and grab it, hold it and surrender forward. Surrender forward, not up, forward. Hold it there. Beautiful Shabina. Trust your body, trust your chair. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in again and out. Gently come up, still holding on to your chair. Take your hand up in the air and twist your body. Look to the corner of your room. Up, gaze your eyes. Gaze your eyes to the top, left hand or right hand corner, whichever you're doing. Doesn't matter. Hold it there for one. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in and out. Feel the stretch in your kidneys, breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Jayshree, you should be holding the top of your chair. I hope you're holding your chair, okay? And gently come round, that's it. You need to hold your chair. Other side, hold your chair first so that you can trust your chair. Fingertips to the shoulder, hands are up, and surrender forward. Look towards your feet, towards your feet. Bring your body forward. Jayshree, bring your body forward, not up, forward. Move your hand in front. Move your hand in front, the one that's in the air. Yes, move it in front, well done. See the difference, look in front at your feet, look down at your feet. Beautiful, breathe in, you're stretching, you're trusting to hold your chair. All your might and the other hand is stretching forward. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Gently take your hand up, straight up to the ceiling and Swivel your body around. So you turn your waist around. That's right, Munira. Turn your waist and take your hand straight up in the air. Put some energy. Put some energy. Feel the stretch. Straighten that hand, Shabina. Straight. Sit up. That's it. Sit up. Feel the energy. Wake up your body. Now breathe in. Breathe out. There's two ways of doing yoga, lazy yoga or yoga with energy. We are putting energy into our asanas. Breathe in, breathe out until you get tired. We want the muscles to tire out so that they build up again. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Gently, 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 gently come round. Well done. Gently come round, put your arms forward, stretched on either side. We're going to bounce a bit on our arms. Remove all the flab. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Palms facing up. Palms facing up to the ceiling. Upwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's shake those hands out. Ismat, you've joined about 40 minutes late. We've finished almost. I suggest you watch because you haven't warmed up. Let's see what we're doing because I don't want you hurting yourself. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and out. Let's shake those hands for arthritis. Breathe in and out. Well done. Let's stand up. Let's stand up. We're going to do our favorite back stretch. I wish I could see how you guys are improving, but I want to see the ones that are on there. Flat back, walk back. Walk back from your chair, open your legs hip distance apart, as far back as possible, okay? And drop your back, feel that stretch. Your hands should be on either side of your chair, not in the middle, either side of your chair and drop and arch your back make your bottom stick out and stretch so you're not like this guys you're not like this you are flat back opening up your chest opening up i could put a teacup a cup of tea on my back okay and we've been doing it so long now you should be opening up your chest. Wonderful little posture, asana. Now move your bottom from side to side. Move your hips gently, side to side. Making those hips loose. Move to the left, move to the right. Move to the left and right. Well done. Just gently move. See now, tune into your body. See what's happening to your spine. See what's happening to your legs, your hips, your shoulder blades. Your shoulder blades might be hurting because they're tight. Let's breathe into them. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in and out. Well done. Stay there in the middle. I'm sure it's stretching. You can feel that stretch. It's not very comfortable, but it's good for you. Breathe in and out. Now, while you're there, come up on your toes. Grab hold of your chair. Come up on your toes at an angle. I'm at an angle now. Up on your toes. Down on your heels and stretch down. We did this as well last week. Come up on your toes. We're going to add the breath soon. Just get the rhythm and stretch down. Flat back. Up on your toes. Feel those toes, tippy toes as much as possible. Let's wake up our feet. Come down on your heel. Flat back. Great. Now breathe in as you come up. Breathe in through your nose. Hold the breath. Breathe out through the mouth. Hold the breath. Breathe in through the nose. Up on your toes. Hold the breath. Some coordination required here, which is good for you. Out through your mouth. Back down, hold the breath. Well done. Again, breathe in. Arch your back, strengthening your whole body from your toes to your hands. Breathe out. Hold your breath. 
Breathe in and breathe out. Last one. Breathe in. Arch your back, stick your palm out. Become aware of your body, what's happening. Breathe out. Well done. Come next to your chair. Come next to your chair, very close to your chair. Open your feet, pigeon toe, pigeon toe, okay? Just make sure your back is straight. Back is straight. We're going to do a second position, ballet position. They call it demi-plie. Let's go. One, two, or oh, goddess. Jayshree, I want your back straight. Bring your chair close, even if you don't go all the way down. Back is straight. Four. That's it. Five. Your back and posture. You don't want to become like this. You see, this is what we are trying to avoid. We want this way. We don't want this way. We want to correct our posture. We want to sit up tall, look regal like a queen or a king. Sit up straight. Hold your tummy in. And one. And two. And three. Well done. And four. And five. Stay down for those who can stay down. Stay down. It's burning. I know it's burning. One, two, three, four, five. Straighten. Shake those legs. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Well done. Well done, everyone. Right, turn your chair around. We did this last week as well. Put your hands on your chair. Put your hands, take your legs back, just a little bit. Only if you're strong, I want you to try and get your hands strengthened. Okay, for those of you who can, drop your hips on the chair. Just drop your hips. Stay there. Drop, Munira, your hips on the chair. That's it. Drop it. Hold it there. One, two, three, four, five. Come back up. Swing back up. Right. We're going to do it again. See, we're in this posture. You're going to trust your hands on the chair. And for some of you, you might need to do this. Some of you, you can drop. That's it, drop. Those of you who are not flexible, come up, okay? Drop those hips. One, two. You see the difference, Munira? You're working your lower back now, okay? Four, five, six, and lift. So you have to trust your chair and trust your hips. Okay, go here. Stop here for those of you who are still scared. For those of you who are not scared, drop. You're basing your strength on your arms. Well done. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Beautiful, come up, come up. Just stretch. Stretch. Well done, Shabina. Jay Shri, do what you can. Right. Take your right leg, put it on your chair. Now we've been working on this again, our hips for a long time. So if you're regular, you will find it a bit better. If you're not regular, you'll struggle. Put your right leg, see if you can drop. Okay, drop and come back up. Straighten the leg and swing it down and straighten it. We're preparing for warrior positions. Down and up. I can't see you, Shabina, but I hope you're managing. Two and three. Straighten it and four and straighten it if you can and five. We're opening flexibility in your hips. That's what we're heading for. 
so that you can sit down comfortably and six and on the seven you'll go for seven on eight if you can you will stay there and eight stay there if you can almost like you're having a good cup of coffee that's it we're opening here okay that's what we're looking for well done everyone stay there and come out straighten the leg straighten the legs keep it up slide your hand down if you can fingertips to shoulder and stretch over stretch over jay shri what are we doing you got your leg on the chair that's it now straighten the leg if you can if you can't bend it fingertips to shoulder and stretch over okay you got wrong coordination the other way around which leg is up if your right leg is up your left hand is up right leg is on the chair left hand right over not up there over great okay if you can straighten straighten breathe in breathe out breathe in and out breathe in and out gently come up leg is still there leg is still there on the chair drop your left hand down fingertips to shoulder of your right hand and stretch over see if you can do this stretch over if you're uncomfortable keep it straight if you're comfortable bend down all the way to what you can do okay i want this kind of flexibility from all of you don't say it's not possible it's possible it is very possible breathe in breathe out breathe in and out breathe in and out gently 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 come up chain sides let's go quickly to the other side we're almost there put your left leg for me it's my left leg put your left leg up we're going to come down we're opening up our hips otherwise we will never open them up one gently even if it's little bit two all those who can't do easy pose we are preparing you for easy pose and three and four and five and six and seven and eight hold it there just stay there well done stay there for one two three four five six seven eight come up straighten your leg straighten your leg over there if you can let's go down oh no this way first come down fingertips to shoulder and stretch over stretch over hold it there breathe in breathe out breathe in and out breathe in again and out gently come up drop your hand down right hand down left fingertips to shoulder straight up hold it there grab your posture first get confident with your posture beautiful if you can drop your body over if you can't stay straight i'd like to know how we're doing in this i'll call it reverse posture reverse posture of warrior let me know how you're doing on it breathe in breathe out breathe in 
and out. Breathe in again and out. Gently, gently, gently come up. Well done. See if you can bring your legs down. We come to seated posture. We're nearly finishing. Come down, sit down. I hope you all know Ujjayi breaths. We're going to end with some Ujjayi breaths. Put your hands in the Gain Mudra. Your hands on your knees. Sit up straight. Gently tuck your navel into your abdomen. Ujjayi breath comes from the throat. You constrict the throat, so it's so it's like a sound of Okay, I think you all know Ujjayi breath by now. Let's start. Ujjayi breath. Take the breath like an ocean breath. You're taking in the air through your nose into your chest. And then I want you to take it out through your mouth this time. Take another Ujjayi breath in. And then out through the mouth. See the difference. It's not through your nose. You're not going, you're going through your throat. I hope we all know this breath by now. Out through your mouth. Keep doing your own Ujjayi breath. When you release through the mouth, hold your breath slightly for a few seconds before you take your next in-breath. On every inhalation, exhalation, for a few seconds, hold your breath. Okay? Breathe in again. Hold it, now out through the mouth. Hold it. In Ujjayi. Hold it. Out. Good, well done. Do three more in your own time and then stay in Shavasana. Namaste. I've recorded this so hopefully I'll be able to share it with you. I'll prepare for the next class. Don't forget tomorrow Yoga Nindra for everyone. You just 